That's where we're heading. The Romai part. The Roman coast. Hai Tanya, uje komo. Asi babis ben saluta. Egyunk valamit vagy, igyunk valamit. The eredeti leg, Romai part, graffiti festuk. Okay, let's see it. I am Medi Medi Evil, um, er original video game. Video game is Medi. Yes, yes. And as God agreed, you stand the king. And the king. Wow. Yes, Forever. Yes, Very cool. Yes. I love it. You guys are real uh, creatives. Yes. Yeah, You'll get it next time. Yeah. Because it's easy. Now the reason they call it the Roman coast is because back in the day, this was where ancient Roman Pannonia was situated. It really is just about time for summer. You can smell it in the air. You can smell it in the air. And it smells great. Look at that. The District 3 Obuda Tsimere. Oh, lovely stuff. Trabant, a trabi. Look at the exterior. Trabant, wow. Such colors, it brings you right back. Actually, during the communist era in the 50s, 60s, that was the so-called second golden age of the Romai part. The first golden age was back in the 20s and 30s. Now back in the 1930s, it wouldn't have been speedboats, but rather rowboats, canoes, kayaks, and the like that made their mark on this slice of beautiful riverfront. Yes, back in the day it was boats of a different kind that made their mark. And they made their mark in these so-called chonak houses. Chonak being boat, moto chonak being motorboat. And the chonak has, such as this blue beauty, would have housed plenty of boats. And every chonak has worth its salt had a restaurant and a riverside buffet to match, just like this here at the Yanchi Buffet. This tree growing right Hello. through. Hello. Hi. Egeshegedra. You can see here Chonak has. Some of them are still active today. Not nearly as many as there used to be. There's an old Chonak has that seems to have gone into disrepair. I think they say there are around 26 former Chonak houses in total. Maybe more like five or six today. But many of them have been replaced by bars and restaurants as far as the eye can see. This appears to be an active Chonak house. Wow. Hello. Chonak house, no? Not your Marrakesh. Menu. How do you eat? As a Chonakas Regi? Wow, not Regi Regia, fa, fa Chonak. Teleg? No, it's not that it's a Wow, Jinjuru. So, those boats, which we just got an incredibly rare and lucky look at, were from around 90 to 100 years ago. And you can imagine this place would have been a Chonakaz as well. All along the Danube. That was the golden age of the Romai part. Although now it feels like, once again, Romai Furdu is coming into a little bit of a golden age. Oh, live music. Here we can see the party shirt cats, the party beer garden. 1970s vibes. Mindig Frischen. A lot of these places, super retro, red and white tablecloths, lots of fish, lots of beer. How you doing? Have a good day. Langos. If you're in the mood, you know where to get it. Kayak, canoe. Interesting combination with the Jiu Jitsu Club. Hmm. Just when you thought you've seen it all. Just when you thought 
you've seen it all. All right, this is one of my favorite establishments here on the Romai part. Kate Rome Bus. Why is it called Kate Rome Bus? It means two ruined buses. And there you can see them. All right, they call this the Gurugdinya Mojito. Thank you, Shigeda. Oh, he gives up on Najam Finom. Yo, Hangulat. You can see this place is super chill. You can even sit here inside the old swimming pool. Tons of spots to enjoy, old bus seats, nice music, chill vibes. Everyone having a good time. And the coolest thing about this place is that you can rent out a grill. <laughs> they got Bogratch facilities as well. That's a heavy duty Bogratch. That Kate Rombus really has everything that you'd be looking for to enjoy yourself with a group of friends. And now we've got Goyosh, which is where you can play the French game of Patonk. I don't know the rules, but I think that guy's the king. And now we have the more modern side, Las Vegans, really branching out. I think this is new. I don't remember this in previous years. It's very colorful. Sort of Margit Sigeti. Faji. Colorful if nothing else. You can see this old ruined hotel, the Monte Cristo, with the Chonak up above. <laughs> I think we just found the best Vigyas Akutya Harap, Harapush Kutya San of all time. <laughs> Amerikai. I wonder what the Monte Cristo was like back in the 60s and 70s. Hmm. More happening than it is now, that's for sure. How is this? Always a crowd favorite. The Fellini Circus. Food car over there. Drink bar right here. Pretty wild to see the Duna this high. I mean, usually you got tons of beachfront here, but now it's nipping right up to the shore. And they've got a kid section. Always like to see that. A double-sided bar. What a place. And the food's not half bad either. Oh man, look at this spot. It's very interesting. The Romai Purdu simultaneously has a lot of beauty and a lot of disrepair. Nice little spot here for a fire. Oh, look at that. I mean, the beach is usually 20 meters wider. It's a little bit cramped today. And back in the day, they say that these gravel fillings would have been sand. It would have been real homok. That would have been nice. Golden age, wooden boats, homok beach. It takes you back. It takes you back. But not back as far as the days of the ancient Romans. Ancient Pannonia. It was settled for the most part in the first century. We're talking the 80s up into the year 100. Emperor Hadrian really made his mark. What do we got here? 
This spot looks pretty interesting. It's like an old blacksmith. Regi Romaishok Barati Kure. Oh, here we can see this is actually the Romai part in the 60s. It looks so much older than that, but this is early 1960s Romai part. Look at the Faji. You know, during the communist era, they took away many things, but they could not take away Faji. But look, the golden age. Oh, Leon Falu. Amazing. Imagine, yo. Yeah, this must be more like 1920s. Look at all the history. Oh, yes, the golden age. The golden age of the Romai part. Chonak houses as far as the eye can see. And back to the actual Roman era. It was some decades after Emperor Hadrian. Emperor Marcus Aurelius was also stationed out in ancient Pannonia. And it is said that he wrote many of his stoic meditations on the banks of the Duna. Perhaps some of them were contemplated right here on the Romae part. Could be, could be. The Romae club, wow. So many eras here on the Romae part. A real time machine district if there ever was one. Now, Marcus Aurelius, when he was stationed here, it would have been a very hostile area. And the Romai parts, the, these were known as the limes, the limes of the empire, the limits. And it was for that reason that the Romai town of Aquincum had a distinct character as a military frontier town. There were about 50,000, 60,000 living here at its peak. But many of them were stationed as garrison troops. For on the other side, just over there, would have been the Sarmatians and the Yazigs and all of the pagans lying beyond. Of course, Rome back then was pagan itself until later on when it turned Christian. And it was after a hundred years of Christianity here that Attila and his Huns stormed in and eviscerated the place. So peaceful, so tranquil. The water lapping up against the gravel shore. And now we've made it into Chilag Hage, the star place, which is still in Obuda, still has the same Timere, but is a different neighborhood. And now our tale does come to an end. Have a lovely day. I hope that you enjoyed yourselves here on the Romai part.